What's up everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo here. Microsoft is getting into the app game and we've got PowerPoint, Excel, and Word for iPad. Let's go ahead and take a first look and see what they look like. So all three of these are free downloads. You can go ahead and view your Office documents for free if you want to edit though. Microsoft is really pushing a 365 subscription. It's pretty much what this is. It's a Trojan horse to get you into Microsoft subscription service. Let's take a first look at all three applications. Go ahead and open up probably the one you're going to use the most. This is Word. If you haven't signed into 365, it'll prompt you to do so, uh, or you can choose not now and then just view documents. So I'll show you what it looks like. You get all the templates that you get um, on standard Word, or at least most of them. Now yeah, they tried to pick the most popular. Open up a new blank document and it looks just like Word. The keyboard pops up. You can go ahead and type. You can select text just like you would uh, on any text editor on an iPad. If you go ahead and select it, select all. You can do what you want to it. Bold, italicize, underline. Uh, pick the font. You can see what the fonts look like. It's a very typical uh, Word experience. If you want to insert things, you go ahead and do that right there. Uh, if you've ever used Microsoft Office, it's going to look very familiar. I'm actually really impressed. Um, doesn't look like much changed uh, making Microsoft's offering uh, finger friendly. So real quick first look at Microsoft Word. Next, let's take a look at Excel. If you do a lot of spreadsheets, you're going to really like this guy. Um, so you got some templates there as well, and it looks like very typical Excel. So let's go ahead and try and do something here. We'll go ahead and fill in a cell. Let's type, make that cell be five. Make the one below it be seven. Pick one over there. Uh, if you want to do all of your functions, you can go do equals. It does pull up the same shortcuts that you get on the desktop version. So go equals sum. I will pick this one, and uh, we'll make a little plus sign. And it deleted it. So certainly there's a little bit of way to work with uh, the formatting, but at least you can see uh, what it's going to look like and how it's going to function. Uh, all the inserts and formulas and stuff are right there too. If you don't know what they are, you can go ahead and just grab them uh, directly from there. So not as seamless uh, as you saw on Word. Uh, you got to sort of make sure you deselect and select if you want to start doing some functions. So it can be a bit complicated, but it does work. When you're done with all these documents, whether you're in Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, uh, of course you can choose to save them. Uh, Microsoft hopes you're going to save them to the former SkyDrive, now called OneDrive, uh, but you can save it to your device as well. And of course you can open up documents uh, from your OneDrive. We'll take a look at the last one here, and it is PowerPoint. Uh, they got a demo. Again, you can open up what you've got or select a new one. A uh, PowerPoint demo is probably the easiest way uh, to start. It uh, downloads it and opens it up. And here is a PowerPoint demo. You can see what you can do with all the slides. And again, pretty simple. You get your inserts. You want to insert pictures, tables, or shapes, transitions. It's really important for PowerPoint. Um, different slides you pick from where you want it to start or hide it. And then, of course, you can review uh, if you want to put notes on there. So you can see kind of quickly um, you know, what a presentation would look like. Things start popping up, lorem ipsum, tap and hold to use a laser pointer. So I can go ahead and sort of move around and be like, look, lorem ipsum. And you can move around, you can play with your cat. It really is just a big cat toy. So subscribe to 365 and your cat will be very entertained. And you go through and sort of do the rest of the motion, you can see the transitions um, that are there as well. Go ahead and end the slideshow. Uh, if you want to add slides, again, it's the same sort of format you could pick, uh, the title slide or title and uh, content, custom layout, and sort of you can do whatever you want to do uh, that you can do in standard uh, PowerPoint. So overall, this really doesn't look to be that pared down uh, from PowerPoint, Excel, and where you get on the desktop. But certainly using this as opposed to this uh, can be a bit more complicated. But if you're in a pinch, you're a you know, business traveler and you want to be able to edit a document or create a document, um, be able just to save it natively in Word. It's going to be a pretty good choice. Uh, this is a very competitive market, though. Of course, Apple's got their own offerings, and there are a ton of third-party uh, spreadsheet and PowerPoint-esque and uh, word processing applications out there. Microsoft is hoping, though, that their free offering, it's free with giant quotations. So Microsoft here is obviously hoping that their free offering can compete and at least get people to subscribe to Office 365, because then you can edit and, of course, download all the desktop applications uh, as well. So what do you guys think? Are you going to use these, not use these? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave them in the comments right down below. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video. What's up, Bye -bye. everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region, or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.